Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So in today's video I have another makeup tutorial for you and this one is a little bit more Christmas inspired but I wanted to change it up by doing something different on the lower lash line. I didn't want it to be any old like brown, warm brown gold smoky eye. So I thought why not use the new Morphe and Nikita Dragon palette. So I wanted to try out this today and I didn't want to go too wild because I feel like there's a time and a place for these kind of um, eyeshadows. So I thought why not do a Christmas inspired makeup tutorial but um, and try out some of the blues and the warm colours. So hopefully you like it. If you do have this palette hopefully it gives you some inspiration on what to create. Of course if you don't have this palette you can just use similar colours at home. And hopefully this can give you some inspiration on what to do, even if we are staying in more. That doesn't mean that we can't wear makeup, so just enjoy getting glam. Um, hopefully that makes you feel a little bit better. And hopefully you are all doing well and you are safe. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me and entered my last video. I have um, picked my three winners and I have already contacted them. Thank you to everyone who entered and of course congrats to my three winners. Anyways, let's get straight onto the video. If you do want to know how I got this look right here, then just keep on watching. Do you want to say hello? You're big now. I think I've shown her in a few videos. Look how big she is. I'm going to start with my eyebrows and I do like to lay down um, like a little bit of foundation over where I put the brow product just because it does stick a little bit better. So I am basically just going to lay down a little bit of foundation as I said because my foundation is slightly darker than my natural skin so this is just to kind of ensure no skin is peeking through when I do put on the eyebrow product. So for my brow product today, I'm actually gonna use the Eyebrow Queen in Blonde. I do normally use the Morphe one, but that's a little bit more natural. And I know that I want the brows to be a little bit more defined, but just do whatever you feel comfortable with. Because this is a bit more of a dramatic look, I feel like you can get away with slightly more defined brows when you've got like a heavier eye because so you can kind of carry it off okay so i'm just going to clean up the brows with some concealer and a flat p louise brush so this is just going to add contrast and also tidy up the brows as well and i will also bring the concealer down onto my eye to act as a base for my eyeshadow just very carefully sketch underneath the brow So we're now going to take that concealer down onto the lid to act as a base for our eyeshadow. If you do get oily eyelids, then you may want to use eye primer before this. As I said in the beginning, I'm going to use the Morphe X Nikita Dragon palette. The color I'm going to go in with is the shade Shape Shifter. Love that name. Um, this is basically a really nice transition color. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone. Obviously, if you are, um, if you do have a deeper skin tone than me, then you could go something that is like one shade darker than your skin tone, if that makes sense. So if you are, if you are um, really deep, you could just go straight in with this color. And I'm basically gonna work that color through the outer V of my eye and also through the crease. So what you want to do is start in the outer corner and then. In circular motions, slowly work your way across the natural crease of the eye so you can feel it when you kind of wiggle your brush inwards. So just kind of repeat that step a couple times. And then once you haven't really got much left on your brush, you can then start to work it upwards. Then the next color I'm gonna go in with is called Artificial. So this has a really gorgeous um, orangey um, undertone. And you all know that I love my orange undertone. I'm going to go in with the same brush. Sorry, I did not mention that. That is the M433 brush by Morphe. And we're going to put that in the exact same area. But as this is deeper, I do kind of wiggle and stamp my brush first. Kind of where I want it. So again, start in the outer corner. And then once I haven't really got much left on my brush, 
but always take off any excess and then start to work that color um eyeshadow upwards and outwards because we kind of want this like nice dramatic blown out look so you can always just pop your color on there and really get the intensity and then once you haven't got much left on your brush you can then buff out the edges and this kind of brush is really good to do that because it is fluffy but at the same time it's still reasonably compact so it really helps to pack on the colour and blend at the same time. I always do this step looking straight forward into my mirror. So that way when your eye is open you can see exactly how high and ensure you can actually see the colour when your eye is open. So that's a good tip if you've got hooded eyes because sometimes you do all the colours like down look like on your lid and then as soon as you open your eye you've like completely hidden all of your lovely blending la, 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 la. so i'm going to switch brushes now and i'm going to use a a spectrum b10 so this is a tiny blending brush so it's great for more um precise i'm going to take the color tem i'm going to take the color temptation which is a gorgeous warm chocolate brown and again, um, work that on the outer corner. As always, kind of start on that outer V and you don't have to be neat with it, kind of just press it where you want it, basically. So wherever you put your brush first, it's gonna be the darkest point. So we want that to be the outer corner. So I'm gonna wiggle that there first, because that's where I want that darker outer V, get the colour on there, wiggle it, get, oh my god this shade is insane, it's almost like, like quite silky, I like it, yeah so kind of get the colour on there, and get the intensity down and then once you've got the depth you can kind of take off any excess on the back of your hand again and then in small circular motions, so darker colours always travel um further if that makes sense because there's so much pigment in there you kind of want to keep it in the outer corner and then use whatever's left on your brush to kind of move it into the crease and then also to kind of blend out the edges you don't ne necessarily need the depth going all the way across well for this particular look we just want to keep it on the outer corner and then just lightly buff it into the crease I do always like to go in with my second colour just to ensure everything is nice and seamless. So I will go back in with that artificial colour and a Spectrum B11. So similar to the same brush as before, it's just a little bit more tapered. And I just very lightly blend over those edges. Then what you can do is just repeat that step. Uh, let's start again. So what you can do is just repeat that step a couple times. So go back in with your darker colour, which was Temptation, and do the exact same thing by kind of dabbing the colour on there and then just slowly working it upwards and just blending it out. It's always easier to kind of add your darker colour on slowly rather than just putting loads on and then hoping for the best and blending it out. Always start with a small amount and then once you can kind of look in straight in the mirror and see if you want to add more, if you need to add more anywhere else. And just kind of do it that way and then you'll start to work out how dark you want to go. And then go back in with the artificial colour which was the warm burnt orange just to further blend those edges. And then I always like to go in with my very first colour and my first brush and just blend over those edges. We're going to move on to the lid colour before we add any more um, eyeshadow. So what I'm going to do is use my concealer and a flat brush. This is a Spectrum A28, so any sort of flat but fluffy brush. So you don't want anything too sharp um, if I compare it. So we're not cutting the crease, we just want to kind of um, make more of a contrast against the lid and the eyeshadow while still keeping it reasonably diffused from that upper lid um, colour. 
did that make any more sense? So I just get a bit of concealer like so. So as if you were cutting the crease, but then we're not making that super sharp line. We just want it to be reasonably diffused. If you haven't got too much product on there, you then kind of want to slowly dab over the edges. See, it kind of gives you that illusion of a larger eyelid by going slightly above your natural crease. So it gives you that contrast that a cut crease does give as well, but it doesn't look too harsh. So I'm gonna go in with the color 703. And I'm actually going to use my finger to apply that because I feel like it's quite similar to, well, it feels similar to one of the eyeshadows in the new Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I know with that one, it feels quite similar and I have to use my finger. Oh, that colour is so nice. It gives, it almost have like, has like a little bit of glitter running through it and it's quite sparkly. We're still going to use glitter. I'm going to go into the matte black, which is called um, Nasty. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel weird saying... I want to say Nasty, but I feel like it's Nasty. But, like, my accent just wants to say Nasty. But I literally cringe every time I say it. You know that shop called Nasty Girl? See, I would naturally say Nasty Girl, but I feel like it's Nasty Girl. Nasty Girl. Oh, my God. Literally, just shut up. Right, so I'm going to use one of the brushes from the Madison Beer Collection. So it's a really nice, flat, fluffy paddle brush, which I feel like is great for the outer corner. So I'm just going to pack that black on, but really tap off the excess. I mean, that's more so to ensure that you don't have too much black on. And you basically just want to tap this on the outer corner and kind of work it into the lash line. Brush it almost into your lashes. And don't worry if you get it underneath, because obviously we haven't done foundation or anything. Just really work it into your lash line. Once you've got the majority of the color there, you can then slowly start to work it upwards. Okay, so I'm gonna do my brow bone highlight now because I'm going to put my lashes on soon and I don't want it to drop down onto the lashes. So I'm going to use the highlighter that I'll be using on my cheeks, which is the Doll Beauty highlighter in the shade Pretty Little Glow. So a little bit on the brow bone and on the inner corner as well. Okay, so for the glitter, obviously you don't have to use glitter. You could just leave it at that. Um, but just to take it to that extra step and make it a little bit more Christmassy. So I'm going to use the Inglot um, Duraline um, Mixing Medium. And I'm literally just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. And take a flat but fluffy brush so it's not too compact. And just dab that into my brush. Just do a very light layer over the eye. So the glitter I'm using, I think it is by MAC. It's just in a pot um, that I decanted. Um, but I will link it down below. I think it's like 3D gold glitter by MAC. Um, but I will link it just in case. But that just make it makes it super sparkly. Hopefully you can see it on camera. But I just put it slightly above the crease as well just to really enhance that sparkle so for foundation i use my um, mac studio fix fluid in the shade nc37 um on the zoeva 102 brush and i want to create quite a full coverage all over the skin as the eyes are quite dramatic um i just want the skin to look super flawless so i'm going to go in and bounce it up and down to get the right amount of coverage. And for concealer, I'm going to use my sharp. Oh my god, I always want to say sharp. <laughs> I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. And a little bit goes a long way with this. So you, I'm just going to put a small amount here. And then it is a little bit light, so I do like to use this MAC corrector. And I use the pink side just over the top of that. And blend that in with my sponge. 
Then I'm just going to set everything in place with my Huda Beauty powder. I'm just using a, this is like a really old Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to make sure that I set everywhere as well, especially where you put your bronzer. You always want that to be completely set because otherwise sometimes it can go a little bit choppy. So I'm going to take the Face and Body Bronzer by Morphe in the shade Icon. And this is a matte bronzer. It's absolutely huge. And this is kind of slowly replacing my MAC one. I do still really like my MAC one, but this is a really good alternative. So I just kind of dab that in place first. And then a little bit around the forehead to warm that bit up. Use a different brush. We use a little bit of blusher just to add some colour back into the skin and this is the Morphe Pop of Peach and I'm going to use the middle shade which is called Crater. Just pop that kind of over the top of the bronzer but a little bit higher. The same Doll Beauty highlighter as before. This is a really nice kind of like rose gold shade. Just going to... Oh my god, it's so strong. <laughs> I'm just going to use a small amount. And then whatever is left on the brush, just pop on my forehead. So as for the lower lash line, because I don't want this to be like a typical like brown and gold smoky eye. So I am going to try something different on the lower lash line. And I do this quite a lot on my channel because I feel like it's a great way of using a pop of colour without being too like bright or too crazy or if you don't really feel comfortable with wearing colour like all the way around the eye and I do want to try one of the bright colours or the kind of metallic pops of colours pop of colour in this palette um I mean not necessarily a bright pop of colour but um it's definitely something different so feel free to go with like a brown um lower lash line if you prefer but I really want to go in with this um, really gorgeous navy blue <laughs> I can't explain colours it's just a really nice um, midnight blue and it reminds me of Christmas I don't know why so I thought this would go perfect with this gold Christmas makeup look so this is called Azula I don't know if I said that right but I'm going to apply that to the lower lash line and before that I'm going to use the P. Louise base in Rumour 2 just for um, just to give the eyeshadow something to grab to as well. Then I'm going to use a flat MAC 212 brush. So this is quite thin. So I think with um, these kind of lower lash lines with a pop of colour, you don't want it to be like too thick. I've made the mistake before with making um, a like dark colour too thick on the lower lash line. So always start thinner than you need to. So I'm literally just going to look up into a mirror and just work that onto the lower lash line and kind of get thinner as you get towards the inner part of the eye. Then I'm just going to get a clean um, pencil brush, this is A12 by Spectrum and you literally just want to very lightly run your brush over the edges just to smudge and kind of blend any harsh lines. Then for lips I'm going to use Spice Lip Liner first of all. And I'm going to use Doll Beauty lipstick in Come to Mama. That is pretty much the look finished. You could of course go in with any lip colour that you would like. I think because we've got the blue on the lower lash line I would probably keep it pretty nude and without a gloss so it's not too much but I really hope you like the look and I hope you learned something of course you can always switch out the products or change up the colours if you feel like it but hopefully you took some inspiration from it and enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new here thank you to all of my new subscribers thank you so much for joining me and yeah that's pretty much everything from me. Thank you again for watching and you'll see me in my next one. Bye.